How's it going? Oh, you know, but never stops. I was going to ring you. What for? Well, I wanted to say sorry about yesterday. Look, I can be a right idiot sometimes. Well, at least you can admit it. So what is the big secret, then? Is there someone else? No, there is no-one else. Look, I swear. Well, then what is it? Can't help you if you don't tell me. I'm surprised you'd even want to know. Well, you know me. Just too nice. That's basically always been my problem. <laughs> I'm always saying that about you. I'm always saying that Victoria is just too nice for her own good. Don't mind me. Just carry on as if I wasn't here. Most people seem to these days. Do you want to go for a coffee or something? Or somewhere where there's fresh air? Yeah. Dragging a minor across international boundaries without parental consent. People get a little bit funny about that sort of thing, and I can't imagine why. I'm his mother! Marlon's his dad! Yeah, more's the pity. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. It's just this... Wait, how likely is it? that somebody is going to stop me from getting on a plane with my own son. I don't know. I doubt we're going to be in Interpol's top ten just for talking about it. But I don't know. I don't know about this sort of thing. Right, what about this woman, then? Where is it? She's been fighting for two years to get her son back from Tasmania. Um, he went over for a family wedding with his dad, who is now refusing to come back. I'm sorry, are you siding with the dad? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, right, let's talk. Lieutenant Corporal Arthur Thomas reporting for manoeuvre, sir. 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 <clears throat> Freedom to roam. Granted. Sir. 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 Right, off you go. Tea's going to be ready. Don't be long, all right. Sir. Yes, sir. Re about turn. Left, left, right. Right. Left, right. Left, left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. So what's he done with his sister? Send her off to boot camp. No, she's up in her room. We had a bit of a heart to heart this morning. Didn't go very well. Not an easy time for anyone, is it? Well, we tried to tempt her down with a trail of chocolate biscuits, but I'm afraid there's no breaking her. Why don't you put the kettle on? I'll see if I can winkle her out. Ah, there she is. Hello, hello, my gorgeous girl. Hey. Oh, someone's got the magic touch. Do I get a kiss? You're welcome to stay for tea. I've got a shepherd's pie on the go. Ah. Is my long coming for tea? Or will you be too busy doing it with him? Gabby. She mustn't say things like that. Gabby. You know better than that. Sorry, Grandad. All right. I really hate shepherd's pie. Oh, well, uh, you could always uh, come to Grandad's and have some pasta. Yes, please. Uh, yeah, well, that is if Mummy says yeah, it's OK. Yeah, fine, if you sure. Well, you know I love having her. As long as you promise that you'll be very, very good for Grandad. I'm always good for Grandad. Yes. <laughs> Victoria, did, does that look straight to you? Yeah, if I tilt my head like this. Oh. I've missed you, you know. Keep thinking I've gone deaf, wondering where all the noise has gone. Never even used to listen to me anyway. Pretty sure you used to try and tune me out. Oh, I never. I didn't know what you were going on about half the time, but I never ignored you. Except for at the wedding. Yeah, well, I'm sorry about that. And for flooding the house. And? And? And just generally being a brain donor. Yeah, that as well. But I thought we covered that earlier. And I'm sorry for flirting with Adam. It was stupid. I wish I'd never done it. Apologies all round, then. What was that for? Don't know, just felt like it. So I guess this means I'm forgiven? No. I always go around kissing people for punishment. Look, so are we back on then or what? Between me and you, yeah. But no need to go broadcasting it to everyone. Well, you're not embarrassed by me, are you? No, but it's no one else's business. And if you screw up again, at least this way I won't look like a right mug. I won't screw up again. Yeah, well, we'll just hold that press release for now, shall we? Yes, please. What can I get you? I'll uh, have what they're having. I'm only kidding, but I meet Maina Lorga. You're, um, you're Amy's mum, aren't you? 
amongst other things. I'm Andy Sugden, Victoria's brother. All right. Where's she been hiding you then? I they make the last in the countryside, don't they? <laughs> oh, mm. we got you something. It's only little, so don't get too excited. Wow. Well, I, I thought, what does she like? Horses and sparkly things. So we thought we'd give you the best of both worlds. Thank you. Thanks. Well, you could start a collection. Yeah, yeah, maybe. In your front room. Mm. It looks nice to come out for drinks as a family for once. We don't do it enough. Oh, I'm not usually such a fat neck. I just need a bit of Dutch courage. I'm one shot with Amy in a bit. Oh, she's got us on pins, man. Do you know what? Everything I say is wrong. And then the more I tense up... Oh. <laughs> need a babe or a straw or something. Well, actually, no, you couldn't have a straw or a could you? Because apart from anything else, you'd be paralytic. Well, yeah, you'd look a little bit silly with a bib, I think. Oh, come on. I could pull it off. Get away with anything with these legs. Another paint here, please. Do you want one? I think I've got enough. Look. No, I know, Rodney, I know. I just don't want to put you out. Yeah, I know. Yes, she's upset, but... OK, well, if there's any funny business, you will call me, won't you? Yeah. OK. Bye. Not too early, am I? No, you're fine. Arthur's asleep upstairs and Sandy's reading. And that was Rodney. Gabby doesn't want to come home. She doesn't want to be here at all. So? Terrible, terrible. I just got all tongue-tied. Ashley was brilliant, which made me feel doubly useless. Hey. Look at me. Look at me. You're not useless. You're super mum. <laughs> and she's... You know what? She's going to find it hard. Of course she is. But she'll come through it. The kids are resilient. Yeah, but I don't want her to be resilient. I'm supposed to be there to protect her, not add to her worries. Looking forward to your Swish Hotel, then. It'll be nice getting away for a bit, yeah. Mm. Away from me, do you mean? Away from all attention. It's nice to be rude. I know we haven't exactly hit it off, but at least I'm making the effort. Well, best of luck keeping up the act. You let it slip eventually. If that's the way you want it. Happy birthday, anyway. Better get going. It's only half an hour's drive. Yeah, 20 minutes if you put your foot down. You don't need to send me a postcard. You can tell me all about it when you come back. Don't forget your horse. Oh, thanks. I felt fine this morning. All right, don't rub it in. Hey, she seems to be enjoying herself. Mm. If she starts enjoying herself anymore, she'll be doing it off the premises. Right, go on. No, no, you start <laughs> wrong, you start wrong. That's oh, it. Oh, love a man who knows how to put his in my place. Not. <laughs> I think I need a few more lessons. Are you not supposed to meet an Amy? Don't you try and change the subject. It's down to you to turn me into a world-class dart player. <laughs> No offence. I mean, I know it's just family and that, but, uh Oh, we're not got on the wrong side of the landlady. Yeah, maybe we should, uh We should give her a rest. Oh, come on! Don't be a party pooper! We're just getting started. We've got loads of time. Look, I'll ring Amy and tell her to come meet me here. I'll save you a phone call. Hey, see? Like, we're psychically linked. I've been sat at home for hours. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. I got a bit carried away. We'll go now. I've got loads of time. It's on till ten. You can barely stand up. Don't 
don't be such a drama queen. I'm fine. Why is it always like this with you? Did you do it on purpose or is it just instinct? Oh, come on, my name. You don't be like that. I've only had a couple. Do you know what, ma'am? You just stay here. Drink yourself to death for all I care. I suppose I better get the dinner on then. Oh, don't do anything for me. I'm not hungry. Blimey. We well, are in trouble if you are off your food. Rona, I've been doing some more digging. Mm -hmm. And when we come back, you know you could be arrested and you could go to prison. Well, maybe we won't come back. Maybe we'll love it out there and all this will be a distant memory. <laughs> and then Leo will have been abducted. Paddy, we're not disappearing off the face of the earth. I'm not trying to sever contact with Marlon. He can Skype him. He can ring. He could even visit us. Imagine how that's going to go. Right. It says here if we're reasonable about access, then that would work in our favour. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe we shouldn't go. And do what? Just stay here, like Marlon's prisoners. Because he would kick off if we tried to move anywhere else. We're lucky if we could even go on holiday without his say-so. Right. Right. Let's give him one last chance to see sense. And if we can't come to a compromise, then we'll go.